Travis have already started to build up the hype. Last week, they dropped a ton of info on us. Kind of caught me by surprise because I wasn't expecting kind of any info on this sneaker. But man, it happened fast. And it kind of made sense because I was starting to see these sneakers pop up more often. You could just kind of sense that they are super excited for this triple collaboration with Jordan Brand, Travis, and Fragment. People are excited for this. I'm super excited. If you're just a sneakerhead in general, these are the unicorns that we chase after. Last week, Jordan Brand decided to drop the official images of this sneaker. They look so good. If you guys don't know that the inspiration behind this sneaker is actually a sample pair from 1985, that just never got released so there is a little bit of history behind this color blocking which i think is kind of cool because it is very unique you don't really see a jordan one with so much white and then of course you have the big black backwards nike swoosh which is signature for travis and then you got that fragment blue color in there on the heel what also happened last week travis's website is basically just travisscott.com that's where he posts, you know, his tour information, any news, but there's also his shop. And that is where he drops all the merch and his sneakers. What happened last week was, I guess on the back end, they were playing around with some things and they uploaded an image of the sneaker and then it said sold out. They immediately took it down and then they put the password page up. So it just says soon, you know, we immediately saw that and just assumed like, hey, oh my God, these are gonna be dropping very soon. Like it could happen that day or tomorrow. What I think is going to happen is that they will be dropping on his website like they have been doing for all of the Travis Scott sneaker releases. But I think it's gonna happen closer to the official date. The official date that's been reported is July 29th. On July 28th, we're gonna see a raffle on his website. Now it's probably gonna be like a two hour raffle where you just put your email information in and then you put what size you want. I also think there will be some merch. I mean, it is Travis. Now, before that even happens, we even get to that stage, I think Travis will let us know. For all the releases, they've done a huge campaign, and I do expect the same thing with these Travis fragments. Be on the lookout for Twitter or Instagram on Travis's pages, because he will post something. And then immediately when he does, he'll probably let us know when it's live then after that which is the new information they are going to drop this sneaker exclusively on sneaker no tier zeros or no boutiques none of those stores they're not getting any pairs they might be getting the lows but they're not going to be getting the high there's been some rumors and some speculations of reasons why these are limited these are a lot more limited than what people are reporting that's what i think i would be shocked if these fall under 1500 if they're over two grand i would be shocked as well because i don't look at this sneaker as two thousand dollars i think right now with the market I would feel comfortable probably 17 or 18. I think that's where these are going to sit. I will also quickly want to add some info on the lows. because I know a lot of people out there are super excited for the lows. Maybe they're not even into the highs. They just want the lows. It's being reported that there's going to be 200,000 pairs of the lows. How I think that one's going to go and why it kind of makes sense of how they're treating the highs. You know, the highs are going to be sneakers app only. But these lows, I guarantee you, will be at all the sneaker boutiques. If these reach the stores, expect heavy backdooring. I know a lot of people are going to be upset about it, but that is just how the sneaker game is in 2021. I wouldn't be shocked if we see pictures posted on IG of these little Timmies with boxes up to their heads. But this is a release I'm super excited for. I cannot wait for the live cop. And let's see if we can hit, man. This will be huge. I wanna see a good amount of people in the chat get some Ws, man, cause that just makes it all fun. Let me know down in the comments if you're super excited for these Travis Fragment Jordan 1 highs. But now let's get into some Yeezy stuff. Oh man, I miss talking about some Yeezys, man. But this month has been bad. There's been nothing happening. It's been super dry. Like there's been no new info, no nothing when it comes to the Yeezy front. The reason why I think they took the whole month off is because maybe yay wants to you know build up the hype for his new album been reported that his album could be coming within the next few weeks and i can confirm i've been hearing that stuff from my sources as well but the next big drop for yeezys could be one of the biggest drops of the year and that is of course yeezy day yeezy day will be happening on august 2nd so the pairs that you see on the screen are going to be new production pairs 
So these are the ones they have been making and technically are restocking. I've been hearing that there's going to be a lot more pairs dropping that are from older releases and older leftover stock that they have at the warehouses. Even though there might be like six or seven reportedly dropping, I'm hearing it's going to be in the double digit. It could be leftover like Safflower 700 V3s, leftover possibly Belugas. Also, I'd like to report that the new foam runners, the MX Cream Clays, I know they were reported to be dropping on the 24th, but from my sources, they have been pushed to August 2nd. So of course, one of the biggest launch days for Yeezy, Yeezy day, you gotta have some foam runners. But right now it looks like they're just straight up taking the whole month off and they're focusing on Yeezy day. Now I am preparing myself for that day because it's gonna be a very long stream. You know, I think each drop is gonna be an hour long or if not more, I think this could start at 7 a.m and end at 10 p.m. I'll have a full dedicated video dropping very soon on Yeezy Day, but I just wanted to give you guys a little, you know, a little update, and it feels good. Yeezy Day, August 2nd. All right, so before I end today's video, I want to give you guys this week's live cop schedule. Big day this week so far has to be July 21st, where we're going to see the FTC Dunks and the LeBron 8 South Beaches. Both of them are going to be dropping on the sneakers app. I'm going to be going for both of them. I have yet to hit a nike sb dunk this is the first one i'm calling it right now i'm gonna hit the next time we will be doing a live cop will be july 23rd on these off-white air zoom tempo next percents i don't know i mean they're off-white we're gonna go for it but they don't look too great <laughs> i'll be honest they retail for like 260 bucks just really expensive hope i don't hit both i mean imagine hitting both and you're all of a sudden you're spending over 500 dollars and then obviously on july 24th you do have the air jordan 12 red metallic i'm not in love with them but i think i'm just gonna try for them on the sneakers app and that will be it so if we hit awesome if not we'll move on to the next one that's it for this week's live cop schedule if there's any shock drops or anything crazy of course i'm gonna jump on the stream guys that is my video for you guys today hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel and like always i'll catch you in the next video I'm out.